Hello traders, it's Samurai Trader here. Welcome to this video, how to scalp and day trade your way to financial freedom. In this particular episode, we're going to be discussing scalping and day trading the TY. You'll find the ticker or the code is different on different platforms, but the TY is a 10 year note. So TY is the symbol for trade station. So as we do get underway, I do need to pull up the risk disclaimer. There is a risk in trading. Don't trade with the rent money rather than read the whole disclaimer out please feel free to pause the recording to read the disclaimer if you and just a very quick advertisement I'll get through this real quick if you haven't already requested or download I should say actually say downloaded a free copy of my ebook the truth about day trading please click on the link below and you can also obtain one of my training manuals as well free of charge and uh, it's got many many topics in that manual so you can also download the PDF by going to my website as well and most importantly please subscribe to my YouTube channel so you'll be kept up to date with all of my videos and even better still become a member you can get started with day trading for less than $200 traders there is no need to spend thousands of dollars day trading there truly isn't for $197 you can get the world's most comprehensive program and as many traders will tell you it's an absolute gold mine there's nothing else like it over 200 um, hours of online videos there's uh, actually I think it's over 300 now there's over 16 day trading strategies the world's best plus it includes my indicators I've been doing this traders for 26 years so uh, visit my website to find out more and traders that's the end of the ad let's get into it so let me just uh, remove that click to uh, let me just remove that there we go so first of all I just wanted to show you the volume that you have on the 10 year note let me pull that up there that's better okay so if we compare it to the ES so the ES on this particular day uh, turned over I think this is back in January 1.566 million contracts and if you look down here at the TY the 10 year note was to over 2 million contracts now the next one on the 13th of February 2020 up here we've got the uh, the ES what's it just say 1.2 million contracts on the ES and the 10 year note 1.5 million and just one more the 7th of the third now we're in March it's now uh, I'm recording this actually on the down under in Australia it's the 9th of March so we've seen incredible volatility and volume being traded because of the coronavirus uh, and just today actually we saw uh, gold sorry gold uh, oil the black gold I should say uh, the Texas tea plunge below $30 a barrel and I can't remember how many years ago that happened so we're going to see uh, as we out today and throughout the uh, New York session today massive volume however what's really important and the reason I bring this up on the volume you can see it actually exceeds the ES typically day in day out like on this particular day uh, on the 7th just say 3 million compared to 3.4 million on the 10 year note so you've got incredible trading volume okay in comparison and it doesn't matter when you're watching this video what I'm about to show you and go through with you is um, it applies to any market basically whether you trade stocks futures or Forex the strategies and ideas I'm about to give you here work on any market any time frames now first of all you're probably familiar with this if you're one of my regular members what's really important is that you have a goal what's your daily goal per contract that you're going to trade and I talk along with my members my goal is around 400 a day per contract so what's a sensible well for a trade of its day trading say three to four hours a day really two to four hundred dollars is a really good target but in the end you've got to find something that suits your comfort that you're comfortable with and what your goal is it's no good you me saying right okay my goal is to earn 15 to 20 G's a week uh, where well, you just might that just mightn't be your goal it might be 500 a week whatever it is but on this one I just wanted to show you this so if you opened an account with six thousand dollars number one we never ever want to risk any more than two percent of our account in any one trade and as you build your account you want to drop your risk down typically my risk is 0.5 to 1 percent per trade 
what that means is in practical terms is that my return on equity is lower however it's also easier to execute a trade but if you earn more say 400 a day per contract you trade you're going to achieve these sorts of targets anyway if that doesn't make sense when you become a member it will so very quickly and this is important you know I think Tony Robbins was the one that said this or maybe it was Jim Rowan when you've got a big enough why the how will appear so when you've got a big enough goal a compelling enough future all of a sudden the how to do this appears this is the effect of starting off with 6,000 and you can start trading smaller accounts and things like it and that's another advantage with the 10 year note because it doesn't have massive volatility you've got massive volume but you don't have massive volatility the CME requirements for margins with your broker are a lot lower than say the ES or the NQ or even oil so therefore you can't get started with a lot less but you still got to remember you got to stay within the 2% rule now assuming we net uh, $200 a day remember to do that we want to be going for 300 a day you've got to allow for down days at the end of week one we're up to 7,000 when we get to uh, week six we've now got 12,000 in our account we now start trading two contracts and I just, yes and just you do get this spreadsheet so you can play around with this when you become a member so you can you know make this and tailor this now the bottom line is this traders by week where are we here down here by week 18 earning 200 a day you're now up to 10,000 a week by starting off with just 200 a day and every time you double your account then you start trading an, an additional contract you're using the markets money so that's our goal 200 a day net how do we do that with the 10-year note well a tick value is $15.60 approximately it's a couple of cents above that okay so two ticks uh, is worth 31 23 46 four ticks 62 so we can see down here if we average a net at the end of the day four four tick trades a day or five sorry three five tick trades a day that's 200 net plus how do we achieve that let's go and have a look at the charts traders what I'm about to show you here is not rocket science okay it's um it's really about sitting back and waiting for the trade to come to you and that's my nickname is samurai trader one of discipline and many of you have probably seen the picture of the sniper that I've got on the wall sitting back waiting for the trade to come to me this is the secret to trading now it can be a bit challenging with ty because ty can be very slow at times okay well not at times 80 percent of the time it's pretty slow but that also makes a, a great market for a new trader now what I'm going to do is go through a number of ideas here with you and the first one is that I want you to master the art of trading by trading with the trend only unfortunately so many traders want to take all these CT trades now you'll see a lot of other additional trades that are marked up these are for my coaching members okay so they learn all of these and, and you learn all of these by the way in the day traders fast track program and I should mention the only upsell is that uh, for 197 you get everything but if you want to join my coaching program uh, you can do that as well but everything is in my um, day traders fast track program okay so there's no super specials or magic stuff that I'm going to teach in my live coaching um, but my my members we go through this every day just so they understand you know every type of trade uh, and just just on that point because I'm about to show you quite a range of trades okay um, very important you always start by trading one setup for an example this one that there that there that there and the, these are all what we call um, uh, two B's all right so back here that was a two B you start by trading with the trend and we always use anchor charts now as a brand new trader you start off with one anchor chart and you build from there you start with one 
Uh, so this is what we call the entry chart then you've got an anchor chart because we only trade in the direction of the higher time frame now the, the the downside to this is that sometimes trading can get boring uh, and if you're trading save a ty it's not on it's it's not really it wouldn't be a problem if you to look at two markets together because sometimes with TY it might be an hour before you get it set up but it's not about quantity we're after we're after quality now remember on this slide here I showed you that what we wanted let's just go back to that was here five tick trade just three a day will net me plus okay I and I ideally I want to go for another one for four of those now if you're one of my members and we'll have members watch this so this actually um, our video is actually for the general public so I go into much more detail with my members but we've got this um, saying we call it five by five yes I can three by eight yes I can and that's in real relationship that's in relation sorry if you trade oil if you trade the ES you're after uh, five by four yes I can and three by six yes I can what that means is two hundred dollars on the real scalps and 200 earning a day on the two B's because as you're about to see there are certain trades where you can get in and you can easily scalp these three to three ticks and four ticks easily they're all over the place and then we get these larger moves okay which are the real sweet ones and so you can achieve both now that's it beyond the, um, uh, the scope of today's video but let me just give you a few ideas because I want you to know you can do this now if you look at this chart what the key things are for me here is is a divergence indicator you can use an RSI I, this is a custom uh, uh, MACD that I've got you can use a MACD and RSI you can use lots of different oscillators here and I've got here a two smooth stochastic and it doesn't matter what trading platform you've got I give you all the settings and I've got custom indicators for a number for, for mt8 nt7 mt4 and a few others okay but either way you get to understand the philosophy now Ray get back to the point let me get back to this what I'm looking for is to trade with the trend so we can see here one of my longer term EMAs I've got a bounce thank you very much my entry with this particular one is on the close of the third candle my stop goes one tick below so what that means is traders I've got a four tick stop so if we look at this here okay going back to that it means my stop is $62 on a one tick now when you trade the TY you don't have to trade um, with oops and that's uh, my oil trades let's just go back to where are we here this by the way is one of the challenges of trading counter trend trades I won't go into that let's I'm on the wrong screen here that was for another lesson I was just doing okay um, so here a stop goes under now you don't have to use Renko I love Renko now because I can see the tails I can see my swing lows and it removes a lot of the noise particularly if you're scalping now if you're a scalper we get in very early and you can't get in any earlier than a one tick move now I know I've said here that my I'm going to get in on the third bar that is where we have a very deep pullback on some of these shallower pullbacks like here there there we're in on the close of a first candle they're called rule of ones we're going to be in on the close which also means I've got a much smaller stop loss I've only got a three tick stop loss if you don't like Renko you can then go and trade say tick charts and if you look at this here what I've got here let's just go to a this is a 144 tick on the 10 year note okay so right there I've got a, uh, a 2b right there I can tell you that now here's another one right there so we've got two B's there that's a 34 B then we've got ruler ones all the way up and also slingshots okay so you don't have to use Renko but Renko is beautiful for smoothing it out it gives you just a, a better experience but what I, I sort of cheat in a way traders because I've got multiple screens so I have my tick chart above that I'm trading uh, above my Renko because sometimes like see that there 
and let me just show you this and let's just check this out let me give you a little tip here yep this is global so let's just see this sometimes on the Renko you might just have price action go straight up and down but we can see here on the tick chart we formed a really nice little double top right there with divergence see that there in fact it's what we call a 2d let's now go and have a look at the 10 year note there there it is there now in fact it did point out very nicely we had a really nice double top if anything it was even cleaner but sometimes the opposite is true when you're trading tick and Renko we're on the Renko it's, uh, sorry on the tick it's more obvious and sometimes you'll see price action rally right up we've got no divergence but we've got um, uh, it's called a t3 a snapback trade where price action flies up and remember with a really fast move like this and even this one here where we see we've got a really good EMA overshoot it was Newton's third law was for every action there is a equal and opposite reaction so when you see price action moving well away from your EMAs this is a really great indication of a snapback trade right in this case we even had a double top great angulation see our price is angling away okay you've got a great move there just moving uh, right along here um, reason that was marginal is this one of the key secrets in trading with the trend is this and I think Bill Williams who wrote the book uh, trading chaos he also uh, wrote the other great book what I'm just looking up here just um, new trading dimension so trading chaos and new trading dimensions uh, he owns the firm and he's getting on now his daughter's running a firm called profitunity and uh, the course by the way you can spend about three thousand dollars for the course and it is an excellent program yes I do have it along with hundreds of others you name it I've probably invested in it but one really there's a couple of big takeaways from his course number one which I learned from Bill is angulation see this when you see price angling away and there's a little rule a little um, uh, safety rule we have when we measure a certain distance which just really increases the probability the other thing is he talks about the, the gator a crocodile and see how these EMAs are all apart here he has our uh, displaced EMAs but they do the same sort of thing and what he says is when the gator has its mouth open like see that fanning the mouth is open and over here when all your EMAs or moving averages come together the gator's mouth is closed it's not hungry therefore it's a dangerous area to trade here it's very hungry it wants to gobble up whatever it can eat so I learned those from Bill and so some really good strategies there and then Robert Miner he taught me to trade with the dominant trend that's what we want to do and let me just and once again I think it's useful to see this um, let me just show you this just stuck back down here here it is here and you, you've probably seen and you hear me talk about this but you know what these are what we call fundamentals you can never get too many of the fundamentals like coach John Wooden the world's greatest basketball coach used to say you've got to practice the fundamentals every single Day. you know John Wooden uh, coach Wooden would even teach his players how to tie their shoelaces and how to wear their socks correctly do you know why so they wouldn't get blisters when they were playing he would say to a player okay I want you to go and do 500 bank shops or 500 layups and the player would say coach I can do that with my eyes closed and he would say yes I know that but I want you to be able to do it when it matters most these are fundamentals so one of the golden fundamentals are traders is that first of all you only trade in the direction of the dominant trend okay once you get used to this right you'll see the green pile up in your trading account now here you've got you are waiting for little retracements and a trend continuation not breakouts trend continuations and just looking over here you can't see it there but if I look at this here um, G man who's a multi-million dollar trader with um, uh, SMB capital in New York City this is his one of his favorite setups where he's waiting for a retracement pullback and he takes his first lot of contracts here so when you got a trend first pullback little stop just above 
and he takes his first slot off at that swing low reverse is true to go long now what if he gets stopped on that one then it's his favorite setup because he has a greater distance if he does get stopped on that it pulls back even deeper he's then got a greater distance to his first target that swing low and the opposite is true now a lot of the traders that uh, SMB capital have got a 90 odd percent win loss ratio why it's because of these setups and traders when we go back to the charts and why don't we go back now if you look at this here you'll see that got the right one yep you'll see that we're trading these all the time okay down pull back take out the low okay uh, that's a rule that's a, sorry a 2b this is a 2b okay and down we go again okay pull back we're in the direction but the additional tool and by the way do you notice how simple that is okay just looking for a retracement now uh, this is written up and you can actually read about this in the excellent book uh, by John sorry by Mike Bellafori uh, called the playbook and uh, Mike actually has written two really good books one of them called uh, one good trade which he published I think about 10 years ago now and uh, just the last couple of years he's published the one called um, uh, the playbook where he talks a lot and he's been criticized a lot because he talks a lot about his firm but there's so many golden nuggets in there when he talks about his traders and he'll talk about the plays that they have but what I wanted to point out there was that really as Gan said there's nothing new under the Sun this has been around for years these sorts of setups now when you go and combine that with trading those in the direction of the trend this is what gives you the house edge okay this is the edge that you're looking for as a trader it makes a massive difference so what am I doing here here we're starting to see a fanning of the EMAs now I won't go into these but these are the here are very very high probability reversal signals that one that one that one uh, and that one right I won't go into what they are it's sort of a bit of a secret that we've got but you wouldn't believe how simplistic it is but we see them every day now the other thing is I'm still giving you some great ideas all right so you can see here we're trading with the trend trading with the trend by the way here is your day's profit just there all right you've hit your 200 you're happy as a pig in poo okay. another thing that works really great with the tinny note is your pivot bounces if you're not familiar with pivots okay you can see here we had a, a, a t3 now that's a typical Newton's law where it spikes up very quickly hits the pivot as it did over here okay these work really well then another setup that works great with the 10 year note is the the old traditional ABC okay a B pull back failure and down it goes again okay now you'll note here a lot any uh, even though the 2d's are great here's a 2d that lost you're not going to get them all for an example just here if you had have got out of this trade uh, let's have a look here and let me just tell you if you had a one two three look you touch four ticks at four ticks I'd recommend you go to break even plus one all right once you hit plus four all right go to break even plus one now as always with exits there's so many different exits but I think it's very important if you're a single lot trader that you get the cash register to ring okay didn't didn't you want to hear that register ring if you're trading multiple contracts this is where you want to start to um, uh, go for your runners etc now what I've just done here is just marked up our 85% trade the 2b by the way that you'll see those and you'll see here this is another one of our very high probability trades however the two B's I only mark these up for my new members because if there's one trade I want you to master just one it's not the t19s it's not the two D's it's trading with the trend it's taking these ones I had a little loss there but then you had a, a winner a winner uh, you still might have been in that one there okay we rally back up beautiful 2d you had another one and I'm showing you every single 2b here okay every single one now what about this here yes you can see I see these blue dots here traders this is very simply an art an ATR stop and flip indicator I've coded now I've only coded it for 
NT8 and Trade Station, so you get it free as a member. For other platforms, I teach you how to do the same sort of thing using the parabolic SAR stop and reverse. Okay, you can also use um, and when it comes to exit strategies, okay, the whole idea here is to get in a trade and pick up your runners. Okay, like that there. How much is that? Uh, one, two, three, four. Look, that's 30, 40 ticks. There's nothing. I don't know what is it 30 ticks there that's $400 traders okay in that one move now you don't have to use okay the ATR you can use something like the uh, the two EMA there's a special way we use that uh, to keep you in the trade so if you're using uh, another platform that uh, don't have the ATR or you don't like that there's a lot of things you can be doing there okay so we can see here thank you very much now note here we're bouncing on the pivot again okay these trades here and we had a loss here traders see there we had a loss we had a failure and where you get these failures will be after you've had an extended move okay so quite often you'll get a rather heavy really strong push like this comes down you then get some profit taking then it rolls over now we call those uh, t4s and these are a trade within itself the t4 kicks butt when you have one of these failures okay so just remember the t4 and also remember the term t10 t10 and t4 t4 really work hand in hand now as you probably can hear here I've got a number of setups okay so um, uh, as I always say traders I'm a researcher I'm a strategy hacker but you start off mastering this one then you go to the 34 B and we build from there but let me also tell you it's very very important that you understand divergence trading and you learn divergence trading you may be asking why even if you don't wish to trade it because of that there and because of this here when you've got a really strong divergence trade okay you'll it'll come down you'll have some profit taking then it'll roll over okay more often than not a good 80% of the time if you've got a 1 or a 2d there you had a loss but just above it was a pivot beware in taking a counter trend trade just below a pivot because usually price action wants to go up and kiss the pivot that's what price action does okay so you want to be careful of those now also with, with um, counter trend trading and with trend trading you've probably heard the saying I know you have um, you know bird in the hand is is better than having two in the bush meaning that when you try to CT trade counter trend trade we quite often miss out on the with trend trade for an example this one here if you had have entered this one right here okay and you hadn't hit your, your profit target reversed and by the time you do reverse a lot of traders are going to wait till they get stopped the move is over and this is why you want to take the trend trades only initially but you also want to know when not to take some of these trades now also of course here we've got non-farm payroll from Friday so there are reasons why we stopped trading at that stage because the market can go crazy at a nice winner that would have extended into there anyway so you had one two nice winner there you had a bet the farm now a bet the farm trade uh, is very very easy to learn and it is a bet the farm you put everything on it not really that's a bit tongue-in-cheek but it's a very very uh, highly profitable trade a good 85% uh, win loss ratio because it's just and it, once you understand the logic um, uh, you really know why this is so good let's just get past the non-farm okay but what you can see here is a nice little winner uh, there you had another loss there was a nice little winner uh, there you had now did that spike did we just check that 44 45 oh no well that you see you look at this and this is where a lot of traders can look at that and say oh you couldn't have got in that was over four minutes traders you had heaps of time let's just have a look at the tick chart what's a tick chart telling us at that time now if we go to the tick chart okay let me just go here okay just there that was there see that um, price action coming down and let me just move those over a little bit more I'm just looking over at okay there it is right there okay see that there bang you take that one 
which is back further and you would have taken that one I won't go into the logic because this is one of these top secret and you know what it's just plain logic you go fruitcakes why didn't I ever realize this okay so there was a great move on the tick chart so I just want to do uh, check that so traders just in summary this is 30 minutes so I always end up going a lot longer and ranting and raving about other things but you know what very important these are the things that make the difference traders these little tips and ideas this ain't rocket science so it's a bit over $15 per tick so it's not cheap but if you use the meaning that you can't like the ear yeah, sorry the um, uh, the euro currency 625 a tick this is more than double that however this is nice and slow let's go and have a look at this crazy trading day now let's look at this here if we go over here to the volume so the ES you can't see the end there but the ES there is uh, turned over 292,000 contracts today the TY is done 379 and we're during the Globex session right now okay if we go back to the 10 year note just let me ask you this okay let's go back down here let me just scroll across and just say okay what is the trend telling me here do I have a fanning of the EMAs no you don't have it there it sort of starts there but as you learn when you've got this sideways action like this this is what we call sit on hands yes you actually by the way you could have made money from that one and that one okay but this is getting towards sit on hands here is your first uh, we call that by the way a t20-1 why is that that's the first trade after a t20 now note the cross of my EMAs here when you get the goal we call this follow the goal crosses under this is a t20 on a much higher time frame we use fib numbers uh, with my EMAs and I've when I say I've discovered I don't know if I discovered or came up with it or I've, over the years I've been doing this for over 26 years or whether someone else told me many many years ago but I've got this magic number that I use when I use an entry chart to my anchor one and anchor two okay so with three charts there's specific numbers that I use on all different markets and I've got this formula that I use and it works and you know it's nothing special I and mean, you just go aha now I understand why you use those so there's a reason for that okay but what I wanted to show you was we're during the globex session now all right so there was a 2b right there your next 2b was there and by the way you just had a great trade there but it was there and you would have been stopped on that one these are what we call 2b D's all it means is it's a standard 2b as I had there but it was after a double divergence these are our lowest probability divergence uh, sorry with trend trades and many traders won't take them what they wait for is that very next trade just there see that white paint bar now that white paint bar did not appear until that third candle ticked above the second okay so it's not appearing on the first so you'll see all these turning point it appears as soon as I get a down tick below the second that is one of the t4 setups so instead of taking the two BDs you wait for a t4 to set up now if we go along here that is every day of the week there we've got and I won't go into the logic but that is what we call a 2b thank you very much and you just had one right there and the next one is right there all right now this is the you can see or you can't see the time this is actually uh, uh, 2305 Eastern Standard Time or no Central Standard Time my apologies uh, so it's nearly midnight okay uh, in the US and there is a, another one but look at these how many of these give you your five ticks okay now we're starting to get this change if there is a one right there you got you had a losing trade just there by the way and you just had a, another winning trade which turned into a bet the farm okay so traders it's not rocket science there are specific things that we are looking for but trading with the trend 
is the safest form now just there right there notice how and as I finish up notice here we've got um, this is called angulation see how the EMAs are angling away from the moving averages okay see that right there now on my high time frames and for my members watching this video it's actually traders for members that is this is actually a 1d have a look at your anchor chart too it's borderline actually I'd say it's really a 2d so this is what makes this such a good trade but I also want to show you on the tick chart let's go to the tick chart see on the tick chart traders let's just go back here see that there see how the the MACD is curled up but notice here on the anchor chart one how price action is gapped away from my trigger line here this is a signal and also notice <laughs> what else have I got I've also got a floor pivot bounce that makes that trade a no brainer so traders I've shared um, a lot of ideas with you and I know you're not going to get on you know become a member you'll pick it all up but even if you're not a member you should have picked up a ton of ideas here such as trading with a trend waiting for pullbacks you can trade the short-term stochastic pullbacks there's a lot of things you can do here but you only need three five tick trades a day and so at the moment and let's just go and have a look at this if you go to the ES let's just quickly do this let's look at the ES right now this is a two tick Renko on the ES all right by the way there's a rule of um this is a bit sorry if you say these black dots mean something but there is a uh, a, 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 um, a 2b a 2b a 2b uh, let me just go back here sorry just want to make sure that's a 2b that's a 2b that's a borderline 2b to see now this has been flying okay now what I wanted to really say there is whilst we see the ES flying usually the one tick T note is plodding along at a really nice steady pace so where we've got a lot of markets also right now are not tradable oils very tradable the T note the, the 10 year bond yes you can trade the 30 but the 30 is 30 what is it 32 odd dollars a tick right so what you'll find is that the, the 10 year note along with CL uh, and there's a few other markets here you can trade which are just not pumping like the equity markets I'm going to finish up here so just last of all traders is this become a member you get to learn all of these strategies you get all of my indicators I've got to update this is now over 16 very very high probability setup so traders uh, thank you very much and I'll see you on the next video